Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Larry Snow and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at how to set up a hidden group in a MailChimp embedded form. So let's get started. So I got this question the other day in a comment and I thought I'd do a video to share how I set up this hidden group in an embedded form. Now, there's one big caveat here, and that is if you have an existing user in your MailChimp audience list, and they go to fill out this embedded form, they're gonna get a big, a big red arrow mark because it says, hey, you've already subscribed. And the whole hidden group thing will be blown out of the water. And you'll see uh, exactly this when I set this up and we'll do a demo. Try not to use this system when you know people who are going to be signing up are existing users, okay? So just be careful of that. Now, if you're not familiar with MailChimp groups, basically they are categories. So you set up a group name, a category, and then in that group name, you can have several groups. So I'm in my MailChimp dashboard. So first we have to create the group. And then we have to do some things on the embed code itself to get this to work. So to set up a group, you go to your audience, all contacts, and then you click on manage contacts, and then you click on groups. To create a group, you click on create groups, and then you have a few options here. You say as checkboxes, as radio buttons, as a dropdown, and don't show these groups on my signup form. In this demo, we're either going to do checkboxes or radio buttons. I prefer radio buttons. And then we're just going to do what it says here. We're just going to do interest and we'll type donating and volunteering and events. You can add more groups if you need, and you can also remove groups as you need. We're going to click save and then click on done for now. We have our group created. The next step is to go over to the sign up form and take a look at the embedded form option. So go to sign up forms, embedded forms, and here's the options that we have. Now you have the option to say show only required fields, which is fine. But the important part here is show interest group fields. And that's this block right here. Now, if I turn that off, our group gets removed. So we want to make sure that that's checked off. I'm not really worried about formatting options. So I leave that unchecked. Now, if we scroll down here and start to look at our code here, you'll see down here that we have input type radio value one, and then it says donating, and then it says volunteering and then events. This is where we're gonna be editing it on our website. Now, there are some JavaScript code in here. Now, if you are using WordPress and you're using the custom HTML widget like I am, you might run into some problems with the JavaScripts at the end here. So what I recommend is either put the, uh, the JavaScripts in a, in a separate section on your website, maybe in the header or the footer of your website, use a plugin called header and footers. Or in my case, I have an option in my theme to add a header, um, to add script in my header or footer per page. So uh, keep that in mind. But what you can do if you're not worried about spam or validation or anything like that, you do have the option down here to disable all JavaScript. And that will remove the JavaScript from the code. To, but remember, that removes the ability for MailChimp to validate the email address when it comes in to your audience list. So keep that in mind. But I'll uncheck that and I'll allow the JavaScript to come into the embedded form. Now, we're going to do what it says here, copy and paste this onto your website. So we'll just click on there and we'll do Command or Control C, go over to our website. I've already got a page set up here. I'm just going to click in the plus sign here and I'm going to click on Custom HTML. And then I'm going to paste in that code. All right. And then I'm immediately going to remove the JavaScript code from that code because you'll get a JSON error in uh, if you're using Gutenberg and WordPress. And then I'm going to go down to my website here, down to my page, and I have footer scripts set up here. So I'm going to add a footer script and I'm going to paste in the JavaScript. And make sure you only get the JavaScript in there. 
okay? So if we go to preview this, everything looks good, all right? So, well, <laughs> but we're kind of stuck here. We're like, well, what, nothing's hidden yet. So what we have to do now is we have to do some styling in our group here to hide it from the browser. And then we're gonna add in a piece of HTML that has to do with these group checkboxes or radio buttons. We're gonna add a word called checked. So let me show you how that works. So we'll go back into our HTML. It's not that scary. I know some of you are not familiar with HTML. We're gonna scroll down here until we see our group section. So this section right here is our group. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna type this in style equals quote display none end quote. That was pretty easy, right? Now if I go back to preview, our group and our group options are now gone. Well, they're not really gone, they're just not visible to the browser. The final step here is to go back into the HTML, go to the group that you want a person to join hidden on this page, whether it's donating, volunteering, and events. And you do that by adding the word checked after the ID. So where it says ID MCE group and this one or that one. So after the ID section right here, we're gonna do space and we're gonna type in checked. And we'll do another preview here. Nothing's changed on the outside. So now we're gonna click save draft or you can publish it if it's something that you want people to see. So we've saved the draft and now we're gonna go preview this in the browser. So here's our hidden group test. And what we're just gonna do now is gonna click it, click on our email address. Now this is an existing email address and I wanna show you what happens. Click subscribe, confirm your humanity, and you get this. There are errors below. I've already subscribed to this list. So forget about any hidden groups at this point. Now a person can pick any group that you want. So I wanted you to show you that. I said that up front, but I just want to show you that to see what it looks like. So when a person who's existing in your list signs up for this form, this is what they're going to be met with. So keep that in mind. So let's go back to the list and now we'll just do plus two on the email address. Click subscribe, confirm our humanity, and we are now confirmed. Obviously, in this point, on your, in your MailChimp settings, and your sign-up form settings, you can send people to a thank you page or um, our final welcome email or something like that. This is just for demo purposes. So if we go back to MailChimp at this point, go back to all contacts, here is my plus two, and now my interest is donating. So that's how you add a hidden group to your MailChimp and bed form. And remember that caveat for an existing user. If you have any questions on this process or any of the processes that go on on MailChimp, post in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button. And if you're new here, please subscribe and make sure you click that bell notification so you get notified when a new video goes up on the channel. Thanks, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.